So guys, karibuni tena kwa video yangu ya pili and I'm super excited. I'm sitting here on my kitchen doing this video and encouraging you that also kama nimefika hapa pia wewe unaweza kufika too. There's no one can block your blessings from God. Once God wants to bless you, there's nothing it's going to happen like there's nobody who can stop it because God is great. So I want to share with you my summer shoes collection that I have and I've, some I wear, some I've never wear at all is because I've never get the perfect match of the cloth or something will go with it. So welcome guys and I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get started to Chanel. So this is my first and only pair of Chanel sandal that I have and these shoes I bought it 2016 two years ago and I love and I enjoy wearing it because it's very comfortable sandal so it comes in this box that says Chanel and Camellia flower and it has two dust bags like one and the other one as you can see guys, I always wear my, uh, my shoes and put it back to their original pack and the box. So next time I want to wear, I just grab it and it's easier so I know where it is. So that's how it comes in. It's not unboxing, it's just to share with you guys. As you can see, that's how I love putting my shoes back after I wear them. So this is Chanel sandal. Uh, I've wear it few times as I said guys I clean them and put them back so the reason why I love more uh, the reason why I love this sandal more is because it has a black camellia flower flower and CC here in gold hardware I love it this sandal with this dress that I'm wearing I already did the video it's super amazing it feels very good and I love these sandals they are super comfortable love them love them and I rock them now since 2016 summer 17 last year and this year I'm still wearing it and it's very good it doesn't get weird so easily it's very good that is that this one is unboxing guys. It's unboxing because I've never wear this sandal, never. I bought it and I've never wear. It's because I was planning to wear with the bag that I planned to buy, but the bag, they discontinued and I did not manage to buy it. But now I think this summer I will wear these shoes without that bag and it's okay. So this is from a brand called Giuseppe Zanotti. And they discontinue it. I don't know in only in Zurich, but you, in Zurich you cannot get this brand anymore. Maybe in Geneva they have it or in another places in Switzerland they have it but in Zurich they don't have it and if they have it please guys let me know where I can find Giuseppe Zanotti boutique or a shop that sells Giuseppe Zanotti. So it comes in this silk silver dust bag and this one is only one but in the middle it's divided in two. As you can see here, it's divided. So each shoes, they don't touch each other even though it's one dust bag. And ta-da, guys. I have this amazing 
sandals that is in blue zanzibar color and it has gold on the side and swarovski on the middle as you can see guys it has swarovski there and gold hardware and the name of the brand Giuseppe Zanotti I love it so much it's super amazing and I've never wear this sandal I'm planning to wear this year it doesn't matter on how I will dress it but I will just wear it because it's just sitting on the closet so that is that guys and I love it so much the other one is this one here it's also from Giuseppe Zanotti I bought these shoes and I'm super scared to wear them but at the end of the day I have to wear these shoes and especially this year I will rock them more than the other ones and I want to share with you what it is Giuseppe Zanotti and here they are for those who follow me in Instagram they already seen this one on my Instagram page look oh my god I'm going to rock this sandal it's in gold up there it's super amazing very beautiful i've never wear them guys as i said but i'm planning to rock them this year and it goes also very well with this dress that i'm wearing with my bag here i mean it's fabulous in summer i cannot wait this year i have to wear them so they have to be worn and to be used and I'm so super excited about them because I bought them and later they disconnect this discontinued the brand Ooh. so while you discontinue your brand na kwa sababu gani nimeshare slippers zangu ni kwa sababu kuna hiyo time e inyo ile ni poa inanifanya tu ni feel kuichanua kila saa it's so good. So um the reason nime nime share na nyinyi slippers zangu is because nilikuwa nazima maviatu na manguo uko Kenya. Um marafiki walikuwa wakinipatia wakinipatia baadaye wanaenda kunisema ama tukikutana na wao kwa club wana tukikosana wanaweza kukuambia ti ah mbona una unaniringia una, una, hiyo nguo umevaa ni yangu so like kukuaibisha at that time nilikuwa na ubanga nilikuwa nasema to one day god atakuja kunifungulia njia ndapata pesa na ndajinunulia kenye nataka and since then i'm i'm very happy and nimekuwa nikijinunulia vitu zenye nataka mimi mwenyewe na pesa yangu and i feel good now it's time to to give a big break because my children are going to high school next year and I want to see that I have some cash on my account for their education because this is what thing I lack and I want to give it to my kids so that they they cannot go the same life I I went you know like kutosomo ko Kenya society in a corner like you are nobody me that's how i feel or that's how i saw it when i was in kenya because yani aweshimiki kwa society kama so masijui kama sasa hivi tu zime change mtu akisikia hujasoma anasema it's okay sijui kama vitu zime change but kitambo ni kwa naambia mtu sijaenda shule immediately contact naisha kai kwa ni chalia na nikatia hiyo forget about it na wengine walichukua hiyo opportunity kunitumia because walikuwa wanaona like I see kumfanyia nothing and I'm nothing to him so nilikuwa na feel vibaya hata mpaka saiwa bado na feel vibaya lakini nasemanga it's okay cuz siishi the same life yenye nilikuwa na hata kama sijaenda shule now I have a different life and completely very good and 
nachukua hii opportunity kusomesha watoto wangu so that I want to avoid them to go the same way I went uh, the way of uh, the desperation uh, to feel shame of yourself and also to be seen like nobody yeah and I always tell my children ukikosa kwenda shule na Africa Mm? obvious uta utakosa heshima watu watakuheshimu watu watakuona like we ni loser kwa life so so many na bd ndio msikuje kupitia maisha nilipitia maisha ngumu hata kama hakuna job sa hii Kenya wana Africa wanasema ti i don't know in another country let me say Kenya wanasema Kenya hakuna job unasoma na upati kazi things will change for the future so you study so hard you will never know what will happen 5 years to come 10 years to come and government is working towards watu wakuje kupata makazi hmm? hata mimi si kusoma lakini hapa hapa majuni kuna opportunity ya kufanya job at least in this country they give you opportunity of going to school you study german you can learn job you can work you can earn yeah nimesomea job ya flege 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 helferin nilienda course for 6 months and then ukishaenda ukishafanya kazi after 2 years experience you can still go to school for another year and then then after one year experience for from that Uh, level ya masomo yenye muongeza you can still go back to school another one year and then the more unasoma the more unakuwa upgrade the more unasoma the more unakuwa upgrade na mshahara ni mzuri believe me not mtu unaweza kupata hata ukifanya 100% wanakupatia like 35 ama 4000 dollar and that is a good money na ukusoma then unajipanga pole 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 Yeah so even me sijamalizana na masomo I'm on my journey doing it and ndarudi shule nifanye mpaka B Ains ju nilifanya mtihani nikafail ya B Ains it was so hard and it's super hard guys but I will go back to school and study and give it a trial again and then up to B2 Even B1 that is a very 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 good certificate you can have here in, in Switzerland for learning German then you can get a good job but for me now I got the job even though I don't have that B1 because my German is very good I can read I can I can understand and I can talk yeah but still they need me to have that uh, B1 certificate because it's very important for them So I will go back to school again not this year because this year I'm very busy with working and making that money to pay the school fees so I will not go maybe next year I think I will go God willing I will go next year and study really so hard so that I can have that B1 yes So at least me na feel hapa kwa hii country nimepata hii opportunity hata kama si kusoma nyumbani hapa nilikuja nimesoma lugha na nimesomea kazi na napata mshahara so kuna hiyo kitu unaweza fanya pia lakini Kenya sijui kama hii opportunity nastaki kuadanganya guys sijui kama ningeai kupata opportunity ya kusomea kazi Kenya ama hiyo organization sahii imekuja mi sijui but sasa kudanganyana na yenye sijui kama ningekuwa Kenya mpaka saa hii sijui kama ningei kusomea kazi wacha hata hivyo ni kazi ndo kabisa kusoma ingenipotea kwa sababu nilitoka shule nilikuwa najua tu kusoma very little lakini nilikuja hapa hivi nika improve na bado na improve every single night nasomea mtoto wangu kitabu ya Kiswahili ya Kijerumani na English so na improve myself na niki travel nikienda kama Kenya huwa niko na novel ya kusoma juni 8 hours flight unafaa kufanya kitu na hakuna wifi huko ndani so unafaa kufanya kitu like to read i read and pia niki travel hapa swiss kwa nikienda job asubuhi nikirudi ama mchana kuna kwa bus station ama kwa tram station ama kwa train station 
kuna hizi ngazeti za kusoma zinajiita Twanzik minute. Unachukua hiyo Twanzik minute, una read, una read, ukifika destination yako, unaweza kuiwacha kwa train, unaweza kuitupa kwa takataka, unaweza kubeba kwa kibeti yako uende nayo, uisome kwingine, but every single day wanaleta very new newspaper. And hiyo ndio system ya hapa people learn people learn uwezi pata tu watu wamekaa kwa train ama kwa basi ama kwa tram awafanye kitu people they are busy with their lives here everyone is busy why can't you even get busy because that is the society you are in and that's how i really really managed to learn german if it could not be that na hii kusomea mtoto wangu novels uh, story books akienda kulala mi bado ningekuwa tu primitive eh? but na thank god na thank god for all opportunity yenye amenipatia na watoto wangu i believe that they will study and study and study and study not to look back where they are or where they come from but i want them to get what i did not get and this is very important for their in their lives education mtoto tu akipata elimu hata wachana na nguo wachana na viatu elimu na chakula ya tumbo it's very important kwa sababu mtoto kama uko na njaa haezi ku concentrate na kusoma area of vingo zimemrarukia lakini tumbo yake iko full na hapa pia kimasomo ako sawa hmm? na hiyo ndio kitu mimi nilikosa Nilikuwa naenda hata saa zingine hiyo time nikiwa shule hiyo hiyo standard 1 2 3 mpaka hiyo 4 pale niliachia na sikupenda kwangu guys kuna ma video zenye nimesema hapo venye sikwenda shule nilikuwa nakosa chakula ya usiku nimeenda shule uko na nja uta concentrate kusoma aje hmm? nilipitia maisha ngumu na wewe labda kama unapitia maisha ngumu usione mwisho imefika kuna time yako ina come time yako inakuja and god is preparing you for a big blessings so guys i hope nimeku encourage na hiyo yangu kidogo nimeshare na wea, nimeshare hapa kwa youtube nimeku encourage no matter what situation you are in whether marriage whether relationship whether auna job whether ujasoma kama mimi is not the end of life do something kama ni hiyo relationship i work quit kama ni hiyo marriage i work umejaribu umejaribu counseling whatever marriage counseling marriage umejaribu umeshindwa start new one eh i'm not here to advise you wachana na bwanako but umejaribu 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 mpaka unaona vitu azi work work out pia mimi ni work out kwa relationship zingine zenyazi kwa why lie huu mwanoma ameniona mtoto wawili so tukikuwa na watoto kumi useme tu acha mimi ni stick ni stick kwa hii relationship eh ni stick tu hapa unaweza kustick up at the end of the day akuwe hmm? labda kwa roho yako ame fed up kwa roho yake ame fed up hataki kukuona hataki yani hataki story yako manze jitoe kwa nini ukae hapa kuwe na venye sahi kutokea Januari mwaka watu wanakufa Kenya Hmm? mtu anaua bibi yake anaua girlfriend anaua ex girlfriend kama kuna askari niliona news ameua ex girlfriend kwa nini uue ex girlfriend kama alikuacha alisha move on ulimlipia school fees so what na yes, pia alikupatia service kwa hiyo time mlikuwa na eh hmm? toka enda kwa relationship mbaya pale mwanaume anakupiga okay kitambo mimi nilikuwa naona nga eh akinipiga ananipenda kumbe alikuwa ananiharibu hmm? unajua kuna mademu wengine wanonanga ama wanawake wengine wanonanga the more anakupati ananipiga ananipenda huyu mwanaume akupendi ana destroy body yako by the time unakuja kutoka kwa hiyo nyumba we ni marehemu alafu kuna mtu huko nje goda amekupangia mzuri akuja kuoa ataoa marehemu hmm? go kama hiyo relationship ni mbaya achana nayo kama hiyo marriage ni mbaya achana nayo kwa nini ukae hapo ukuje kukufa baadaye hmm? kwa nini ukae hapo ukuje kukufa baadaye eh si nimechanua nywele hadi imenibo hadi inanichukia hmm? niliachwa na relationship ya kwanza 
ati huyo mwanoma alikuwa na by the way mwanoma aliniambia sijasoma palinatoka background yangu si mzuri we are so poor hakuna mali anaweza nipeleka mtu akishakwambia maneno yote na umemzalia mtoto surely na hiyo ni relationship amjoana we si bibi yake yeye si bwana yako na tayari ashakwambia hizo vitu will you still sit down there and watch this guy anakutukana anakudisrespect unasema tuacha nikae na yeye juu nimezaa na yeye so what umezaa na yeye yes but so what hmm? nikajaribu ya pili the same thing nilitukana hujasoma hujaenda wapi hujafanya nini hujafanya nini we si mwanamke presentable sasa mtu akishakwambia hivyo you will still stick to him hmm? Hapo ni kufunganya virago na kutoka. Kozo huko nje kuna huyo mwenye anataka huyo mwenye Dis... kuna huyo mwenye anataka mwenye ajenda shule. Hmm? Finally nilipata wangu barafu wangu wa roho. Hmm? Ananipenda na kivyo vyote vile vyenye niko. Hmm? Sasa zingine hata namwambianga mimi kuna vitu unaniambia nyingi hata zinanisumbua akili. Niambie Kenya inanienda kwa akili. Ya? Yeah? So, toka kama ni mbaya. Ai. Toka. Nikauta comment hapo chini useme wewe unaharibu unato unafanya watu wanatoka kwa ma, kwa hivyo sasa huyo dema akikufa akiyoka kwa gazeti ndio utafurahi. <laughs> Kuna huyo dem niliona news by this like yani I was so shocked. Dem amenda university amesomea sijui nini amesoma amesoma amenda university ati Chali amemwacha juu sijui yako na mtoto wake sijui nini ndeli happen jo hata hiyo nyusa wako uisema vizuri walisema tu dem amefanya suicide juu ya kuachwa na boyfriend yake sasa niambie hmm? dem amesoma mi kandi huo dem ninge kando ninge kwanza sile chali na kuachanga mi kwanza chali akiniacha ndio na kuanga sasa ile na najimotivate na, na ndio nataka sasa kukua mrembo mpaka akiniangalia anasema eh hey, ningejua singeachana na ude mpatie wivu hmm yeah kama relationship i work quit live run kwanza akikupiga run Miss Jenny likuwa moko jo primitive at that time but sasa nimejua 